We're Chris and Melissa. Back in 2020, we left our empty nest to embark on a slow travel adventure, living in 12 cities in 12 months. This month, we're staying in La Vie, Quebec. Every day, we've gazed across the St. Lawrence River at the stunning Chateau Frontenac. It's the world's most photographed hotel, and it is to Quebec City what the Eiffel Tower is to Paris. Iconic, magical, romantic. After almost a full month of admiring it, we've decided it's time to get a good look inside by taking a guided tour. Then, for leisure testing purposes, we invest in additional research. Behind me is Chateau Frontenac. It's inside the walled city of Old Quebec. Always a danger. It's getting closer and we like to be early, so we're gonna mosey on over and be 15 minutes early. I think that's our tour guide. I think you're correct. Or she just has a monster. During renovations, inspired by the St. Lawrence River's ice flows, they painted the lobby ceiling blue. Sitting on the boardwalk is called the River View Wing, and it turns on St. Louis Street, huh? The structure that will become the tower. The tower. The tower. The 1608 bar is classy and cozy. What a wine room. Their award winning wine list is 30 pages long. The rest of our tour took us through various public spaces at Chateau Franek. It'd be a great place to celebrate a special occasion. Le Sam Bistro is named after Samuel de Chaplain, who founded Quebec City in 1608. Okay, that was a cool tour. Yes, it was. But now we decided to have a nice, tasty lunch. In a beautiful location. We're in a French onion soup kit. We just get it all the time. Totally healthy. I had the roasted chicken club sandwich. Basic yet delicious. The chevre and spinach puff pie. Oh, transcendent, remarkable, seriously so delicious. I think it might be the most inspiring meal I've eaten so far this year. We're gonna see if we can get a room here. We have to, don't we? I think so. Hi. Um, uh, we were walking around uh, Quebec City and we thought we should see if we could stay at uh, um, the Chateau. Uh, well, for tomorrow we were looking. Okay, thank you. I kind of wonder if I should be the one on the phone. I'm interested in reserving a room for tomorrow night. Just All right, thank you so much. Yes, we have confirmation. We have a lovely hotel room. We are going to be going with a king size gold room. I'm excited. We felt it was important to be up in that tower so we get the best view of where we've been staying. <laughs> and it will look the other way. <laughs> perspective. It's all about perspective. Yesterday, after getting the tour, we decided we absolutely needed to get into the tower of that building right over there. Here's the thing is that we don't want to just show you uh, a little bit and just kind of half see it. Yeah. We really want for you to get a full tour of inside of the Chateau Frontenac yeah. to the best of our abilities. Yeah, it's a hotel. People sleep in there. <laughs> we had to go into a room and they did the tour didn't show us a room, so. No. We're gonna do that for you. The funicular is the easy way to Chateau Frontenac. 
but we're not gonna take the easy way, are we? No, we're taking the stairs. We booked a gold room for Chateau Frontenac's hotel within a hotel experience. You ready for this? This place is all about the details when it comes to luxury. It's an older building, so rooms are a bit smaller. But check this out. When we go to bed in the evening, we each have our own reading light. Another benefit is this fantastic view. Check this out. It is the St. Lawrence River. And honey, can we see our Airbnb from here? Oh, there are the red stairs. All right. Do you see the red stairs? Yeah, and I can see where we live. I see it now too. Maybe, let me see, okay, there we go. Did you get the mountains? We also get to see a little bit of charming old Quebec. Oh yeah. Right down there. And here's the thing about old Quebec is it's actually a UNESCO World Heritage Site. This hotel is a uh, national landmark, so it's staying. I'm super excited because we are in the tower. The tower we've just been staring at. It's like, we have to get in the tower. We're in the tower. Look at this. You've got a fridge with all kinds of goodies. There's like, there's beer from Quebec right here. Pretty sure that is. And then obviously some beers from international or domestic beers. Fruit juices, the hard stuff right here. Look at that. I think we got a good ice just so we can use this. <laughs> What's also cool is they have snacks. They're totally good for your stuff. Oh, I love Pringles. Chocolate covered almonds. Some peanut M&Ms. Mm -mm. But we are good, it's in this packaging. Mm. <laughs> of course. They're gonna have this. Maple syrup. Look at this desk. It is so fancy. I put pens here. Just like a yeah, let's get the pens out. Let's put the pens right there. We should go buy some pens. We can get souvenir pens. I saw them yesterday when I was wandering around. We gotta make use of that awesome feature. Also, honey, check out these handles. Oh. I love the handles. I love this. It won't give you. Let me try. Oh yeah. Those are some nice handles. Okay. Now may I? Yes. And I do love that we have these soaps and lotions by Rose 31. I've never tried that brand before, so I'm excited to check them out. I'm guessing that it's nice. I also think it's cool that there's the number 15 there. We are on the 15th floor. This is cool. <laughs> I've never had that in a hotel ever. Really? Really. I think we have. Name it. Kensington. Prove it. We weren't videoing at that time. <laughs> you have a shoe mitten. What's a shoe mitten? I think you can polish your shoes with. Oh, Ooh, what's in here? <gasps> Little cotton balls and oh, stuff and Q-tips. Nice. Oh, nice. Check this out. Voila. That's so awesome. But what I really wanted to share is we have lovely robes to get into later and an umbrella in case it gets rainy, which is supposed to be rainy tomorrow, so we might use this. Another cool thing we learned, check out is at noon, not at 11, at noon. And there's a fantastic lounge that we're going to have to share with you that we have access to. Uh, if you're in a gold room, you get access to this lounge and there's going to be canapes and beverages that we can partake in. I've got to say, uh, this is a thumb up a bum, don't you think? Oh, I'm thinking it will be. We'll have to see. I don't know, we might get haunted during the night. Ooh, there are some stories that there could be rooms that are haunted. Mr. Frontenac himself haunts the place. Nah, he's just checking up to make sure everything's fine, make sure we're comfortable. What we were told by our tour guide yesterday is that he's a playful ghost. So if he shows up, not to worry, he just likes to make little things happen. Excellent tour, honey. I've been curious. It's like, 
I'm pretty sure it turns off when you close the door, but I want to make sure. I'm going to shut the door. Okay. See, see how it goes. Yeah. Just as I thought. Yep. Okay, hon. Are you sure? Yeah, open the door. Come on. Sure? Honey, come on. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. This lounge is part of the hotel within the hotel experience. It's a classy space with drinks, amazing snacks, and more fantastic views. How many times do you see stairwells with windows? That's a sign of a good hotel. And there's a mirror here. What? When you pass in, I think it's like smile and say hello. How many times do you find a mirror in the stairwell? I'm a hotel. This is a quality place. <laughs> now it's important to go check what dinner's like. We're going to go to Sam's Bistro. Ooh la la, the Madame Marie. Gin, rosé, sparkling rosé, basil scented grapefruit syrup, dune pepper, campari, and absinthe. Mmm. This little guy is the rum runner. Rum and banana goodness. Check this out. It's a drink in this. Who would have thought? <laughs> Super happy. Oh. Rum, banana, mm, it's good. Lunch was so delish, we had to come back for dinner. Thumb up a bump, yum. For a nightcap, we went back to the 1608 for Knob Creek Nine Year Bourbon Old Fashions. She is so We are standing in the Rose Room at the Chateau Frontenac. And this is where ladies would get to gather and socialize. And it was the only space for women to really get together because the men had the bars and the men had, you know, every space. However, during World War II, this is the location where the invasion of Normandy was planned. Why would they plan war here? My guess is because it's the it's like the last spot you would suspect. Also, what I found super fascinating was like the residents of Quebec City had no idea that Churchill was here, President Roosevelt, the Prime Minister of Canada, that, that these people had gathered to plan the invasion of Normandy. They also gathered here a couple of other times. They had artillery guns, submarines in the St. Lawrence River, planes flying overhead. Everyone's going haywire. They thought they were being invaded. I just, I can't imagine. And it happened in this room. All right, on to the let's next one. The... We're not supposed to be in here. I just checked the door, it was open. Well, hey, let's just come in. I totally thought our room had gotten broken into because I was like, oh no, the door is open. Happily, Chris knew what was going on. But at first I thought, why, why are they cleaning our room? Was there a goof up in the reservations? It was the turn down service. This is so cool. Look, there chocolates for us. We have slippers. And, oh, this is nice. Oh, get the utensil. Oh my god, that is so cool. My, my, my turn. <laughs> right. oh. Oh. That's way better than reach my hand in. <laughs> Good night. Let's hope we don't hear from Mr. Chateau himself. It's not Mr. Chateau, it's Mr. Frontenac. <laughs> a chateau is a castle. I don't want to hear from Mr. Castle at all tonight. I just noticed my phone had dialed a number to Ohio. I don't know how it did it. Mr. Chateau in Ohio? <laughs> Mr. Frontenac. Good night. Did you hear that? What? That sound. What sound? <sighs> There's nothing. Good night.
Good morning. We have one more very important thing to do before our leisure testing is complete. Time to enjoy breakfast and cappuccinos. We got our same spot we had yesterday. And breakfast looks delightful. Thank you so much. We're gonna be well fed. <laughs> <laughs> Have you loved seeing inside of the Chateau Frontenac, the most photographed hotel in the world? Please comment below and let us know. Like, I wanna know if this is the type of place people want a vacation to. I would think they should. It was a very relaxing or romantic. And the attention to detail, not just in the room, but with the service. When we sat down to dinner, the the servers were like, oh, Mr. and Mrs. Peterson, would you like to start That's with this? Nice would touch. you like to start with that? Very nice, just made us feel like we belonged here. It did. We have been doing some fun things while living in Quebec. To get some great ideas on what you can do in this area, click here. Oh, or here. It's a romantic place. It is.